Welcome to the Elevate Media Podcast with your host, Chris Anderson. In this show, Chris and his guests will share their knowledge and experience on how to go from zero to successful entrepreneur. They have built their businesses from scratch and are now ready to give back to those who are just starting. Let's get ready to learn, grow, and elevate our businesses. And now your host, Chris Anderson. Welcome back to another recording of the Elevate Media Podcast. I'm Chris Anderson, your host, and I am excited to dive into this, why systems are important. If you don't have systems in place, you are probably going to fail. Systems are really important to help you get to that next level in business, especially if you're around the six-figure mark or above. Before you reach the six-figure mark, you can haphazardly go about things and make things happen because I did. <laughs> I'm just trying to make things work. I'm just trying to figure it out. You're doing a lot on your own, wearing many caps. And once you get even close to the six-figure mark, now that we're past the six-figure mark, systems are crucial because as we're growing and expanding, bringing people into our ecosystem, if you don't have the systems and the processes in place, it's pretty dirty. It's pretty, it's hard for them to understand what needs to be done in what order and how to do it. Having those systems and processes in place. So when they come in, you can be like, Hey, this is what you do. Then this, and then this, especially for their specific role. Obviously you're going to have moments where it's like, Hey, I need you. Can we do this as well real quick or something of those, that nature. But having these set guidelines and things to make you more efficient, to make their job more efficient, to make it a simpler job for them is crucial. And even if you don't have employees or contractors, anything like that, just for your own sake, for your own life to be more efficient, to get more done. If you get, take it to the extreme, putting your silverware in the container, in the dishwasher grouped together, not just all over the place. That way, so when they're done, you can pull out one group, put them right where they go. Boom, you save some time, seconds, minutes, maybe. But you can take it to that extreme. Your systems are your morning routines, are your evening routines. If you have kids, we are about to have two under two. So my systems and schedules and routines are about to change again and look different, but I've got to have those in place. And that doesn't mean you have to be super rigid and structured completely. I am probably more than others just because that's how I roll, but you can have more fluid routines and schedules. So basically like just time blocking, Hey, in this hour, I need to do, these are what I need to get done. And then this big chunk of time could be family or personal development or health or whatever. And this chunk of time could just be self-care. And then whatever, whenever you're in those buckets of time, it could be whatever, you just have your main goals that you need to get done for the day. So it can look different, the systems for your personal life, but you have to have a, an understanding and direction of what needs to get accomplished each day, week, month, quarter, year. You've got to have those systems laid out and you've got to have systems laid out for those who are on your team. Keep it super simple. The KISS method. And it's just like having a good workflow. Especially if you're growing your podcast agency, you get the recordings. The next step is what whatever your next step is. Joe Schmo takes the audio file. Jan Smith takes the video file. They do their edits. When they're done, they upload them on frame.io or whatever platform that you collaborate on, Google Drive. And then Lucy, as your VA, takes those files or... Big John comes on there and, and takes those files and breaks it into the micro content. And then when they're done, they take that next step and you can track it all through things like Monday or on any other platform that tracks your project management, whatever you use, Slack, whatever. And it just follows this process. It follows these steps until a project is complete and send it back to the client or upload the audio onto the podcast platforms, upload the video onto YouTube, whatever those steps are in the whole process, having it laid out. So say if someone took over for your spot for some reason, or you bring someone on to do that, they know what the process is. They know what needs to happen. So there's very little gaps. There's very little things that happen during that transition because everything is laid out for them to understand. Plus then it's easier to know what you offer your clients because you know the process. That's This is what we do. 
this is what we do. Do you see the value? Let's get started. There is no branching off. Okay. And we like being solidified in that and just doing it to the T being the very best at those systems for your clients can just, it just will help you to grow and expedite a lot faster. So having systems is really important as you're growing your agency, as you're growing your coaching business, it's just going to keep things simple. And then as you're able to scale and as you're able to outsource and delegate tasks to your team, they just, they know what's going to happen. And of course, having them in writing or in a file where people can go to is just to the next level. What can you do today to improve your systems, to create a system? And it could be as, it could be as small a system as I get up, I brush my teeth and listen to a motivational clip. Then I go get my coffee. Then I read, I work out, and then I go into the time block of work for four hours, whatever it is. What little one can you implement starting today so you can get more focus, so you can become more efficient, so you can get more productive and actually get things done instead of just wasting time? Being busy, quote unquote busy, is not always a good thing. Someone who's really busy might look like they're getting a lot done, but they don't because they don't have these systems and processes versus someone like yourself or me who have these systems and processes and we know exactly what we need to do and get done. And we can move that needle a lot faster because we are so focused and understand this has to happen than this. And you just stay in that lane. So think about that as you're growing, as you're implementing these into your, your agency and your coaching business, into your life because we can all improve in our daily lives, our personal lives, our health, our mental health, our physical health. And these systems can work in that regards as well. I hope something stuck out to you on this episode. I hope you can take something and start to maybe switch up and create some processes. Again, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram at chris.t.anderson. If you have any questions, if you're like, hey, Chris, I'm trying to build an agency. I'm trying to build my coaching business. And I'm just stuck here. I don't know why there's a bottleneck or I'm having issues with X, Y, and Z. I'm an open book. I'll answer the question the best I can. If I don't have the answer, I'll direct you where you can get the answer. And who knows? Maybe it'll help create a new episode that we can help more people together. So don't feel bad reaching out. I personally respond to my DMs. So I'm there I'm looking forward to, to helping you however I can. But until next time, go out, elevate your brand, elevate what you do, and we'll talk again soon. Thank you for listening to the Elevate Media Podcast. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. See you in the next episode.